Hey, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in life after death? What if all your dreams and nightmares are pieces of a puzzle you once knew? A place in time waiting for us in the heavens. What if all this isn't real? Are you? Join me as I go looking for answers. Hey! You wanna see a scary movie? <laughs> Come on, little boys and girls! It's time for a scary night at the Clown Motel in Nevada, Tanopa. <laughs> YouTube, what's up, you guys? Mike here, the other light paranormal, for another adventure. Guys, I'm tired. I think I drove 1,700 miles to get here from Houston. Do it for you. So, without further ado, I'm here at the world famous Cloud Hotel. I'm also here with the owner, VJ. And. He's going to tell you about the hotel, man, but I'm here to investigate it. It's, I feel like I, I hit the jackpot, man, the lottery, because first of all, he's allowing me to do this, an awesome guy, and then uh, the clowns, man. I'm here for Chavi. the clowns, especially that one. Chavi. Supposed to be a notorious clown that moves on his own. But anyways, without further ado, here's VJ. VJ. Hey, guys. He come all the way here to come in Clown Motel. Okay, and I'm really appreciated he come to see here. It's a one-of-a-kind motel. And this is, has a lot of story about these clowns. Every people or every different people has a different experiences. So uh, good luck for him and uh, he's going to get all hooky, hooky things and the Charlie has to show him. And he's a one-of-a-kind. He's sitting here a long time and he's become a very famous and he makes the famous the people who make his video. So I hope you like the inside and outside and Clown Motel. And uh, anyway, my, my name is VJ and uh, I'm the new owner. And uh, I like to be YouTubers or paranormal in the movie guys here to everybody's to like uh, get together with the clowns. You heard that guys, if you got a paranormal channel, come show them some love, you know, yeah. put some money in that tip jar. You get this whole place and you get to have a great adventure. It's an awesome guy. Uh, this place is super cool, man. I, I just got here and believe it or not, I'm digging all the clowns, I'm digging the vibes. And a lot of people say, you know, why is this place haunted? But it's probably because right next, not even 100 feet, there's a cemetery there. And VJ, is that cemetery? Yes, uh, 110 years old. 110 years old? Yes. It's 110 years old, and not only that, but there's a lot of miners that passed away there, right? And the gold miners and all that, so maybe they're coming over here. Maybe they're taking possession of these clowns. 3,500 clowns. So, VJ just gave me a count, guys. 5,300 clowns in this place. So, right now, I'm going to take you around, man, and... This is the notorious run right here, Mr. Big Clown missing his fingers. They say he moves. I mean, I would hate to be in here by myself with the lights off. Um, but yeah, man, this guy's big, bro. He kind of look like like he just wants to grab you or something, don't he? Look at him. He don't, man. He means business. He means business, guys. And look at his hands. You know what's crazy? His hands look like real size. Like, look, almost as big as my hand. And I'm not getting very... Well, I, I do get friendly vibes off of him, but... I don't know, man. What if he moves? Can you move, Mr. Clown? Can you move your feet or something? Look at his shoes, guys. I don't know how old this clown is, but... Let's have a look around, man. So... There's 5,300 clowns here, and this place is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's a serious place, man. Like, people from all over the world have uh, sent clowns over here, donated clowns, and VJ collects them. And this place is pretty, pretty awesome. Look at this. Donated precious clowns from all over the world, not for sale. And some of these are antiques. So can you imagine, guys? All the energy 
that's attached to some of these. I mean, I would not be surprised if at least 1,000 of these clowns have energy attached to them. And that's what's triggering all this paranormal stuff going on here in, in the cemetery next door. We're going to go and investigate there too. And I will be using the, ne the Necrophonic after, but I got to get my phone and about my cat ball. But well, man, look at these clowns, guys. Look at this one. Look at this whole outfit and everything. It almost looks like Pennywise. And there's clown paintings. Wow, guys. What an amazing place. Look at that one right there. And that one, look at this one. Can you see that one? This place is off the hook, guys. Man, I've been driving all day, and I slept at a rest stop for like two hours, and I just kept going, and here I am. I didn't think I'd get the opportunity to do this. My All these thoughts were crossing through my mind, like, am I going to get to chill out with the clowns, you know? Do I get to clown around tonight? And it worked out for the best, man. The owner's really awesome, too, by the way. But this one right here, man, this is... This one right here, guys, this is the the one that I've been thinking about the most. He really looks like he wants to move, doesn't he? They say sometimes his hand just moves or falls or he's got that type of energy to do stuff like that. And then look at all the paintings up there. All the clown paintings over here. There's more clowns. People that come visit. What an awesome place, guys. Look at this. House of a Thousand Corpse. Look at these. That's cool. Look at that one, man. That one looks trippy. Every time I turn around, I feel like he's watching me. <laughs> Big old clown right here. <laughs> We're friends. Right? <laughs> Do you really think he moves at night, guys? I don't know, man. He's always smiling. That's a good thing, though. Look at this right here, this tree. These are like puppets or hanging clowns. Man, this is awesome, guys. Very awesome. Okay, guys. So I have the REM pod, cap ball, and the K2 meter. The uh, cat ball is in his hand, K2 meter on his lap, and rim pod on the couch, and my phone running the Necrophonic app with a Bluetooth speaker. So let's ask him some questions for Mr. Clown and see if he has any responses. Mr. Clown, I don't know your name. Do you have a name? Is it true that you can move things? Hello? Look, look, guys. Right when I said that. Are you, are you doing that? Mr. Clown? Is that you making that happen? Can you turn it off? Whoa, okay. Um, Mr. Clown? Can you make the cap ball go off? Just to make sure it's not the phone. Let's move this phone over here. And let's reset this again. I'm gonna reset it again, guys. Just to see if Mr. Clown is doing this by himself. There. 
Okay. Oh, nice. No, I think Mr. Clown means business, cause um, Mr. Clown, you're very active today. You got multiple things going on. Are you doing that? Make it go off again. Mr. Clown, can you make that ball go off in your hand again? Are you here? Do you have a name? That was crazy, guys. That thing tried to light it up on its own. Look. Look, guys. He ain't playing, man. Oh, my God, guys. The amount of energy. Like, I feel my hair is standing up. Is anyone here with me? Are there any spirits here? What the hell is going on on my phone? Who's this? Is anyone here with me? Is someone inside this clown? Are you making that thing go off? Can you make the bomb? Oh my god, guys. Guys, right when I said that, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. Hey, VJ. <laughs> this clown, he's got a lot of energy, bro. He's making everything go off on his own. Are you kidding? Mr. Clown, can you stop, please? Stop. Just, bro, stop. Thank you. What? Okay, you don't want to stop? That never happens, guys. I take that thing everywhere. I think he likes it. And, and this thing right here, I don't know why it's doing this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to turn it back on. I'll put it right there. Okay, Mr. Clown, I don't look at it. Doing it again. Is anyone in possession of Mr. Clown? What spirit am I talking to? Do you have a name? Mr. Clown, you made that light up. Can you do it again to validate that you are here? See. And why can't you change the colors on that thing? Are you draining your energy or what? Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, that's uh, that's insane, man. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm scared to go over there. Like, I think he's gonna slap me. And this thing's not supposed to be doing this. Did you say my face? Oh, look, he's violating. He's gonna slap my face. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna remove this away from you. All right, Mr. Clown, it's not near you. I'm gonna get back here. Do you still have enough energy to make that? What? Okay, what about the cap ball? Any spirit here? Can you make that ball light up again? Man, guys, this is crazy. No. What was that? What's the name of this hotel? Why is this doing that? Did you say Clown Motel? Okay. I think I fixed it. Nope. Look. Every time that goes off, the ball sometimes goes off. Mr. Clown, is that you? Do you have a name? Look, what the heck? Change colors. Change the color. Light that up. Mm -hmm. 
you. How long have you been here, Mr. Clown? You are an honorable man. If you, oh, okay. Is, is that you're saying thank you? I hey, you deserve it, man. You you got a nice outfit. You look great. You're pretty probably taller than me. If you're a nice person, can you turn it on one more time? Are you getting annoyed with me? Can you turn it on? Do you like having visitors? Can you turn it on? Guys, this is crazy, man. I uh, I think I've gotten enough evidence here. So I want to check out the cemetery. Look, look, guys, look. I'm not I'm not even near it, man. Like I'm way over here. Can you do it one more time, Mr. Clown? Do you love the Clown Motel? I think it's a beautiful place. What was that? All right, I'm going to leave. So can you make it turn on one more time? Mr. Clown? Is anyone here with me? All right, guys, let's go check out the cemetery. I don't, I don't know why this is doing that and why that was doing that, but uh, let's go see what we can look at that all by itself. Okay, man. So that's crazy, guys. That is nuts. There's, you can feel the energy in here, man. Like you can tell, all this stuff is very very uh, like historic antique the place itself the location you know um i don't know man maybe i'll capture an orb or a ball of light or some type of energy but uh yeah thank you for uh talking to me i'm gonna take this back now okay I'm going to take my K2 meter back, but you have to stay here. You can't come to my room, and I appreciate you. You see, guys, this thing is working. I'm not even touching it, so I have no idea why this thing was doing what it was doing. You know, see? Maybe temperature change. I, I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know. Maybe we'll ask Mr. Clown one more time. If I put it here. All right, Mr. Clown, you make the ball light up. Can you do something with that? Hmm? You tired already? You have enough energy for that? I don't know guys, that thing is uh, went pretty nuts earlier, but I did a hard reset, so maybe that thing was just bug bugging out, but the cap off for sure, man, there's no way, there's no way that cap off should have been lighting up by itself, can you make it blink a couple of times before I leave, oh, oh guys, right when I said that, okay, you've proven yourself to me, I'm going to leave you alone, bro. Look, it went back to normal. But uh, thank you. This is your home. I respect it. Oh, man, I've been wanting to come to this place for a long time. So I drove all the way from Houston, guys. 1,700 miles, 1,700 miles. And I slept at a small rest area for like three hours. And I kept driving, and here I am. Kind of late, so let's check out the cemetery, guys. Guys, this cemetery is first torn up cemetery, 1901 to 1911. Bury here, Armenia of Tonopas, pioneer residents, including 14 victims of the Tonopa, Tonopa, Belmont mine fire on February 23rd, 
So guys, this is the Tonopa mind and it is old guys very old so we got Charles Smith um it goes all the way back there guys so I will be coming out in the morning but I wanted to give you guys a quick little um tour of the place look at that 1907 and keep your eyes peeled guys because maybe you'll see a spirit an apparition and it's pretty dark out here as you can see um i don't think i'm supposed to be out here guys but uh i thought it was wouldn't mind checking it out real quick But this is a very old cemetery man <clears throat> They say it's haunted And there were some miners that died here too from the explosion You know and I gotta watch out for the cops too because if the cops come I can get in trouble <laughs> Oh man this People leaving here are wreaths for Christmas. So, this cemetery is still active. I guess people do visit it. I don't want to go way back there. What a nice place. Well, not a nice place, but... I got my K2 meter, just hard to hold everything. I'm gonna come back out in the morning before I leave. And I'll do a necrophonic session. It goes way back there, guys. What the heck? And these graves, man, they go all the way back to the 1800s. Big Bill. I don't know. Let's try the necrophonic cap, guys. Still got it turned on. Are there any spirits here that want to talk to me? <coughs> Can you show yourself? <coughs> Bro, I... I shit you not, I thought I saw something walking by my leg. I promise you. If you did not see my reaction right there, I don't know if that was, was that you? Like a shadow by my foot? What were you trying to do? Were you trying to grab me? Guys, I don't know if I freaked myself out or what the heck that was but it felt like an animal or something black was moving right next to my right leg is anyone here maybe it was just my shadow in the way it appeared could have been my jacket shadow. But that scared me, bro. Is anyone out here with me? <laughs> guys, it's 28 degrees out here, guys. 
I'm gonna come back out here in the morning because man, it is freezing. Look. <sighs> Are there any miners here? Can you introduce yourself and say hello? Nice to meet you. Do you remember the mine fire? How did you die? How did you cross? Are you at peace? Huh, guys? It's interesting how these these uh, grave markers are like wood. Hey, Charles Smith, are you here? Hello. How old are you? Guys, I'll see you guys in the morning because it's freezing. And I don't want to get cold again. I don't want to catch a cold, so goodbye for now. <laughs> Look at this. Tonupa Cemetery, 1901-1911. And I think it's pretty cool, man. It goes way back there like that. Are there, any, uh, are there any victims from the the mine fire? Are you are you at peace now? Are you at peace? Can you show yourself and run across my camera? I'm gonna turn it off, guys. It's so loud. Cover off. What an interesting place. But man, I think I scared myself really bad with the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> with my own shadow guys it really felt it really looked like something was trying to grab my leg <clears throat> um for real guys uh tomorrow morning i'll check it out but this is the clown motel right here as you can see not a lot of people here and over here i'll give you the bird's eye view of the Tunup Tonopa Cemetery. Look at that. And that's where I just came from. That probably goes all the way back there. But I'm hoping I could capture something, man. Like someone peeking behind a headstone or or something cool. What a cool place. Well, guys, um, I'll check it out tomorrow. And then if I do go back there again, um, yeah, I will add it to the video. But, guys, I hope you enjoy the video, man. I really do. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Hit me up with some comments, man. I love hearing from you guys. Anyways, it's really cold out here. I'm going to take my clowny ass to bed. And tomorrow, I'll see what happens if I go back to that little cemetery and try to do a little daytime birth session. But time to let you go for now, guys. And thanks for watching the video. Take care.